welcome to 5 minute school in today's video we're going to be looking at the various pressure changes which occur during the cardiac cycle so we're going to begin from the point of the ventricles so when the ventricles contract the pressure inside the ventricles the intraventricular pressure will increase now this increase in pressure will cause the atrio ventricular valves to be forced closed and once they close they cause the first heart sound now this phase is known as isovolumetric contraction then following on from this when the pressure in the left ventricle we're going to talk about the left ventricle first um, when the pressure in the left ventricle becomes greater than the pressure in the aorta if you didn't know the left ventricle leads to the aorta and we have semilunar valves in between so when the pressure in the left ventricle becomes greater than the pressure in the aorta the semilunar valves open and blood is ejected from the left ventricle into the aorta the pressure in the ventricles at this point and the pressure in the aorta is approximately 120 millimeters of mercury then following on from this the pressure in the ventricles will then fall below the pressure in the arteries the left ventricle leads to the aorta the right ventricle will lead to the pulmonary artery so once the pressure in the ventricles falls below the pressure in these arteries um, this will cause back pressure from the arteries to snap the semilunar valves shut and what this does is it prevents backflow of blood back into the ventricles and this produces the second heart sound so the snapping shut of the semilunar valves produces the second heart sound at this point the pressure in the aorta falls to 80 millimeters of mercury and the pressure in the ventricles falls to 0 millimeters of mercury the following phase is isovolumetric relaxation so we we have the atrioventricular valves and the semilunar valves which are closed and this phase lasts until the pressure in the ventricles falls below the pressure in the atria so this is the phase of isovolumetric relaxation and once the pressure in the ventricles falls below that in the atria the atrioventricular valves will then open and the ventricles will begin to fill with blood and then we have atrial contraction which causes the final amount of blood the remaining 20% of blood to enter the so it enter the ventricles right before the next phase of isovolumetric contraction so then the cycle would then repeat itself again now we mentioned the left ventricle only um, the events are similar in the right ventricle as well and in the pulmonary circulation remember the right ventricle does lead to the pulmonary artery which goes towards the lung to have the blood oxygenated so similar events occur on the right side of the heart as well but at lower pressures so there's 25 millimeters of mercury at systole in the right ventricle and 80 sorry 8 millimeters of mercury in the right ventricle at diastole so that's everything i want to discuss in today's video on the various pressure changes in the cardiac cycle i hope you find this video useful and thank you very much for watching